this is Sylvia Saber with OPTV Global Headlines. Starting with the top international stories for the day. U.S. President Joe Biden has called on the Taliban to immediately release the man believed to be its last American hostage. Biden said that U.S. will not consider Afghan Taliban's aspirations for legitimacy unless Mark Frerichs is released. The announcement came on the two-year anniversary of the kidnapping of U.S. Navy veteran Mark Frerichs. The U.S. has worked to ramp up diplomatic and financial pressure on Russia over Ukraine. The lawmakers on Capitol Hill said they were nearing agreement on the mother of all sanctions ahead of UN Security Council meet. North Korea has tested its most powerful and longest-range missile in five years. In response, the United States has made an appeal to North Korea to join direct talks with no preconditions about its nuclear and missile programs. India is now actively depriving the youth of occupied Jammu and Kashmir from seeking higher education opportunities in Pakistan. Students are harassed and ridiculed by agencies when they try to obtain an NOC to study in Pakistan. The All Parties Kashmir Conference has called on the UN Secretary General to establish a commission of inquiry about human rights violations in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. APC also announced aggressive campaign on political diplomatic fronts to sensitize world. The Taliban Acting Higher Education Minister has announced that Afghanistan's public universities will reopen in February. Announcement comes without details whether female students will be able to return to classes. The United Arab Emirates has intercepted and destroyed a ballistic missile launched by Yemen's Houthi rebels. The ministry said debris fell in an unpopulated area and there were no casualties. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau vowed to make his country safer for Muslims. Trudeau said that Islamophobia is not acceptable at any cost. French local government has suspended a street art festival in Grenoble because of a mural of a woman wearing a hijab. The mural was defined as provocative and unacceptable by the auvergne rhone alpes region. Syrian regime's air defenses have intercepted an Israeli missile bar barrage targeting Damascus. The attack resulted in some material damage. Up next, we have the national updates. Prime Minister Imran Khan has welcomed his Canadian counterpart Justin Trudeau's condemnation of Islamophobia. The Prime Minister said, let us join hands to put an end to this menace. Pakistan has strongly condemned the extrajudicial killing of five Kashmiris in Pulwama and Badgam in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Foreign official also reiterated its call on the international community, including the United Nations, to hold India accountable for its gross human rights violations. Pakistan's National Security Advisor Moed Yusuf wraps up two-day visit to Kabul. Pakistan and Afghanistan have now agreed to establish high-level committee to handle border concerns. A full marathon of 42.2 kilometers held in Islamabad for the first time in the federal capital's history. The Margala Road saw hundreds of men and women runners from across Pakistan participating in the event. President Arif Alvi and the First Lady also participate in the event. Pakistan People's Party Chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari sought Punjab's support to oust Prime Minister Imran Khan. Addressing Ansial Sharif, Bilawal said that the Premier would not find a place to hide if the province backed his party. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Chaudhry Fawad Hussain has urged the judiciary to take stock of its rapid declining reputation. The minister said that new Chief Justice would face this challenge when he would be sworn in. After Jamaat Islami concluded the protest, the Pak Zameen party announced to stage a sit-in against the Sindh Local Government Act 2021. The SP chairman Mustafa Kamal said that government had accepted 70% of his demands a week earlier. At least 17 people, including two policemen, were injured in a grenade attack in Dera Layar town of Balochistan. The police said unknown motorcyclist hurled a hand grenade near Subhatpur Chowk. The red zone of Quetta has reopened for traffic after 17 years. Chief Minister Mir Abdul Quduz Bazinjo also ordered the police to not block roads for traffic during his visit to an area in Quetta and other parts of the province. Equal justice under law. We haven't yet lived up to that promise marginalized communities across our nation. I'm Fasil Gill. I saw how the color of your skin. So I went to law school because I wanted to fight to make the law work for all. Because I wanted to give back. Because black lives matter. Because we need to incarcerate less and educate more. Deserves justice.
Up next, we have the health updates. The highly transmissible Omicron variant of COVID-19 now accounts for nearly all global COVID cases. Scientists are now tracking a rise in cases caused by a sub-variant known as BA2. Pakistan's active COVID-19 case count is over 100,000 for third consecutive day. New COVID-19 cases place country's positivity ratio at 11.53% and reports 21 COVID-19 deaths in the last 24 hours. Trucks have rolled into Canada's capital, Ottawa, to protect vaccine mandates. The so-called Freedom Convoy started out as a rally against a vaccine requirement for cross-border truckers but has turned into a demonstration against the government. Up next, we have the updates on science and technology. Scientists at the University of California, Santa Barbara, have developed a smartphone-based test for COVID-19. Preliminary experiments suggest the result is as accurate an indicator of infection as the PCR test. Up next, we have the sports updates. Rafael Nadal has won a record 21st Grand Slam men's title after beating Daniel Medvedev in the Australian Open final. The Spinard also becomes just the fourth man in history to win all four of the sport's major Grand Slam titles at least twice. West Indies beat England by 17 runs in the fifth 2020 international to win series by 3 to 2 points. Local hero Jason Holder took four wickets during a dramatic last over as the West Indies beat England by 17 runs. Up next, we have the entertainment updates. After 33 years of Pakistan's top music band strings, Bilal Maksud is finally ready to go solo. Some few weeks from now, Bilal will be launching three solo singles. Aquaman star Jason Mama has joined the cast of street racing franchise Fast and Furious 10 as a villain. The actor will be seen acting opposite Dominic Toretto, played by Vin Diesel. Bollywood superstar Salman Khan and Hollywood legendary actor John Travolta spotted together at an awards show held in Saudi Arabia. The Pulp Fiction actor received a Lifetime Achievement Award. Spider-Man No Way Home easily clung to its box office lead in North America theaters this weekend. The Sony Marvel superhero film Domestic Total Places its fourth all-time trailing Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Avengers Endgame and possibly now within its reach, Avatar. Up next, we have the business updates. Pakistan is likely to import 500,000 tons of petrol, around 250,000 tons of diesel next month. Demand for petrol and diesel for coming month expected to reach 712,500 and 647,500 tons, respectively. Equal justice under law. We haven't yet lived up to that promise marginalized communities across our nation. I'm Fassel Gill. I saw how the color of your skin. So I went to law school because I wanted to fight to make the law work for all. Because I wanted to give back. Because black lives matter. Because we need to incarcerate less and educate more. Deserves justice.